Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these yellow and uh, green uh, triangles uh, fully confined uh, in this uh, square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, yellow triangle is 40 centimeter square, whereas the area of this uh, green triangle is uh, 120 centimeter square. And moreover, this uh, line segment uh, T, C is uh, 8 uh, centimeter and furthermore uh, this uh, triangle uh, AED is an equilateral uh, triangle and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded quadrilateral uh, APDE. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we can look at it since we are dealing with this uh, A, B, C, D as a square. So that means if this side length is X, then this side length is going to be X, X and uh, X across the board. And now we know that this uh, whole side length uh, is uh, X and this uh, tiny side length uh, TC is uh, 8. So therefore, uh, this uh, side length uh, DT is going to be X minus uh, 8. And now our task is to calculate the value of uh, X. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, APD. Let's assume the area of this uh, triangle is uh, A. And now let's focus on this uh, shaded triangle uh, AFD. We are going to calculate the area of this triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, the base uh, of this uh, triangle uh, AFD is uh, X. And the height of uh, this uh, triangle is uh, x as well so therefore the area of this uh, triangle aft is going to be a half times our base is x times height is x as well let's go ahead and simplify that is going to give us x square divided by 2 and now let's make an observation we know that the whole area of this uh, triangle aft is going to be a plus uh, 120 so therefore, I'm going to replace this uh, AFD area by A plus uh, 120. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number one. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, shaded triangle uh, ADT. And once again, we're going to be using uh, this uh, area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, our height uh, is uh, x and our uh, base is uh, x minus 8 for this uh, triangle ADT. So therefore, the area of this triangle ADT is going to be a half times our height is x and our base is uh, x minus uh, 8 and now let's go ahead and distribute on the right hand side so therefore that is going to give us uh, x square divided by 2 minus uh, 4 times x and now we can see in this uh, triangle ADT the total area of this triangle is going to be the sum of these uh, individual areas a plus uh, 40 so therefore I'm going to replace this uh, ADT area as uh, a plus 40. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and subtract equation 2 from uh, equation 1. And here I have copied down equation 1 and uh, 2. So let's go ahead and subtract. I'm going to change the sign. This positive become negative, positive become negative, this positive become negative, and this negative becomes uh, positive. So therefore we can see that this A and negative A is gone. 120 minus 40 is going to give us 80 equals to on the right hand side. This is gone with this one and we are ended up on the right hand side as 4 times x. Now let's divide both sides by 4 to isolate x. So therefore our x value turns out to be 20 centimeter. And now we are going to substitute this x equal to 20 value in this uh, equation 1. 
And here I have copied down this equation 1. I'm going to replace this x by this value 20. So therefore this equation is become a plus 120 equals to, I'm going to replace this x by 20 and then whole square all over 2. On the right hand side 20 square is same as 400 divided by 2. That is going to give us 200. And now let's go ahead and subtract 120 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our A value turns out to be 80 centimeter square. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle uh, APD turns out to be 80 centimeter square. And now let's go ahead and make an observation. We have figured out the area of uh, this part of this uh, blue quadrilateral uh, APDE. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, equilateral triangle uh, EAD. This is an equilateral triangle since these uh, all uh, three sides are equal in length. We know that this side length is x, then this side length has got to be x, and this side length is x as well. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact. The angles of an equilateral triangle are uh, 60 degrees each. So therefore, uh, this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, and likewise this angle is 60 degrees as well. And if we add all these three angles, they add up to 180 degrees. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle EAD. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times AB times a sine of angle C. As you can see in this diagram, our side lengths are A and B, and the angle between these side lengths is C. So therefore, the area of this triangle EAD is going to become a half times our side lengths are X and X times a sine of angle 60 degrees as you can see over here. Now we know that our x value is 20 and the sine of 60 degrees is the square root of 3 divided by 2. So let's go ahead and make a substitution on the right hand side. The right hand side is going to become 1 over 2 times 20 times 20 times the square root of 3 divided by and if we simplify everything on the right hand side, this is going to give us 100 times the square root of 3. So thus the area of this triangle EAD turns out to be 100 times the square root of 3 centimeters square. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the total area of this uh, blue shaded uh, quadrilateral uh, APDE. So thus the area of this uh, blue shared region is going to be the sum of this uh, 80 and then uh, 100 times the square root of uh, 3. Let me go ahead and write down 80 plus uh, 100 times the square root of uh, 3. And we know the value for this 100 times square root of 3 is approximately equal to 173.21. So therefore, this area is going to be approximately equal to 80 plus 173.21. And if we add everything, that is going to give us approximately equal to 253.21 centimeters square. So thus the area of this uh, blue shaded region uh, turns out to be approximately equal to 253.21 centimeters square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.